we tried a super cheap Korean Glaskin facial and it really transformed my skin. So you see, I usually have really, really dry and bumpy skin. And when I travel to Korea, I saw a lot of people with beautiful, clear and hydrated skin. So I really wanted to know their secret. So with my boyfriend, Bobby, we decided to go to a Korean skincare clinic and try one of their personalized treatments to see if we could achieve glass skin. And by the way, Bobby has a totally different skin type because he has oily skin. So this clinic is located in the city center of Seoul and it was super easy to go there. We just worked from a hotel and they have branches all around Korea, but we went with a Myeongdong branch and I had booked us an appointment using Kakao Talk a few days before. So when we arrived, we just had to give our names to the front desk and then they gave us some intake forms to fill up and sign. So we sat down and we answered a bunch of medical and safety questions, which feels pretty good since this is a skin clinic where you can have both medical treatments and beauty treatments. So you'll meet both with doctors and estheticians, but everything is supervised by a doctor. And once we had done that, we were called into a tiny room to get a personalized skin consultation with this really nice lady that also had really beautiful skin. So this was a good sign of what was to come. So when we arrived in this room, I asked the lady if she had any suggestions for us, telling her to do anything she wanted that was obviously non-invasive on me and to go easy on Bobby because it was his first time ever getting a facial. Then something super funny happened. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, cool. <laughs> she turned a big screen towards us and had some kind of translate app to make sure nothing was lost in translation, which let me tell you, a lot got lost in translation. Do you know microneedle? Yeah, I like microneedle, but no, uh, no, no injection. injection. Yeah, no injection. <laughs> microneedle. Yeah, microneedle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was only facial today? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. First time. Yeah, first time. yeah it's my first time. <laughs> and after this, she showed us the price, which was really, really good for what we were gonna get. You'll see in a bit. And we went to the front desk and I paid. After this, we went to a room with a sink and a bunch of beauty products and we washed our own faces. So in Europe or the US, someone usually washes your face for you in this type of situations but this is really a no frills type of place which to be honest I really like here because this is how they keep the prices so low. We then put our stuff in the lockers, got some slippers and followed this lady to the treatment area. Here we are in the area where all the facials are done so everyone is in the same room and we get to lay down covered with a big comfy blanket so I'm pretty happy. And right away the facialist started applying a product on my face with a brush and at first it was really tickling me but after a while I could relax and enjoy the treatment, which is a gentle peeling solution, which is supposed to remove dead skin cells and give your skin a glowy look without being irritating. She then dabbed the rest of the solution on my skin with a big Q-tip, which is a surprisingly nice feeling. And then she covered my eyes with some cotton pads and protective goggles. After this, she put this big machine over my face and turned it on. So obviously as I was filming, I had no clue what was going on because it's my first time trying such a complete facial treatment. But apparently this machine is a staple of Korean facials and uses red LED light to treat your skin. So it's supposed to help with collagen production, which makes your skin look bouncier and healthier. And while I'm relaxing under this big lamp and waiting for the next steps of my facial, let's check in on Bobby. And hello from approximately two booths away. My side, I'm doing a facial. She put these like what can only be described as paper mache type things on my cheeks and forehead, which I think will help with my blackheads and oily skin. But to be honest, it made me look completely ridiculous. Like, look at me here. I look like almost a clown. But then she brought in this thing that I honestly want to buy of this like mister that just basically misted water on my face, which felt ridiculously satisfying. Next, she took off the paper mache type things and used this thing that honestly I thought was going to hurt at first called an ultrasonic skin scrubber, which I was told removes blackheads and balances out my skin oils. And after a few minutes of that, she she took out what looks like a paintbrush and applied a peeling solution, which then led to, for some reason, having my eyes covered, which at the time I had no idea why, but then I felt like something was put around my head. And after seeing the red, I realized that I was under like some type of LED light, which honestly made me feel like I was on some sort of spaceship since she didn't speak English and I had no idea what was going on here. Then after what felt like honestly an hour, she took out another one of her paintbrushes. And then this time, not only covering up my eyes, but also my mouth, an entire face, and then applied a skin mask specifically formulated for my type of skin, which honestly was pretty heavy being this sort of like 
clay type mixture, which covered my entire face with the exception of my nostrils, which honestly at first I thought I'd have a hard time breathing, but after a while it turned out to be okay. And I was then left to relax till the end of the treatment. And after this relaxing moment, things started to get scary on my side when a numbing cream was applied to my face. I had so many questions, but I looked like a cream cheese sandwich with a plastic wrap on my face, so I decided not to care too much about it and let things happen as they were. Then I got moved to a different room that looked like a hospital room, which really surprised me because I had no idea of what was gonna happen to me. And if you've watched the channel before, you know that I'll really try anything, but at this moment I was pretty scared that I misunderstood something and that I was gonna need the emotional support plush toy that was in the room. And luckily an actual medical doctor with perfect English entered the room and explained everything that was going on. So I felt super reassured, even though he was stamping my skin with a scary looking object that looked like a gun and was actually delivering a hydrating product right under my skin through micro needles. We talked about Korean beauty habits quite a lot and it was super interesting. I'll tell you more later when I show you the results. And this part was over super fast and they brought me back to the beauty treatment room where I had the nicest and most soothing treatment. They put some aloe vera gel on me to recover faster and covered me in the same mask Bobby did before but blue version. And I look like a mummy here but it's actually really really enjoyable. And I think that was my favorite part of the whole process so if you know what this blue thing is please let me know in the comments. I really want to know. I also received a nice face massage as the beautician applied sunscreen to my skin. Wow, that was a lot. I counted a total of eight steps to this facial, which is by far the most I've ever done. Wow, you look nice and I look like I've been rubbed with a yeah. something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to tell you all about the results. The first few days I was jealous of Bobby because he looks so good. His skin looks so beautiful and healthy and mine, well, you've seen it. It had a bunch of little bumps everywhere and it didn't really look good. But the good thing about the treatment I did is results take time to appear but they last for a while. They can last for up to six months apparently. So I was pretty excited to see what was gonna happen. And after a few days the results started to appear and were pretty obvious to me, Bobby and anyone who knew me quite closely. Obviously they were still very subtle, I still looked like myself just with slightly better skin. And now it's two months after so I'll let you judge of the results with this weird close-up of my skin where I'm only wearing tinted sunscreen and no makeup at all. Okay so now I want to tell you about the price. And it was only $70 each which is really impressive, especially since a real doctor took care of me. I, I still can't believe how cheap it was. From what I've researched a similar type of treatment in the US is between $500 and a thousand dollars which sounds like really insane to me and not at all worth it if you have to spend that type of money obviously for me it was a hundred percent worth it at this price because i really feel good about my skin now even two months after and also it was kind of a fun cultural experience like i love learning about the korean beauty culture when i was speaking to the doctor he was telling me that skin treatments and cosmetic procedures in general are very very common here in korea from what i've seen korea is the number one place for beauty treatments and cosmetic procedures. There's also a lot of medical tourism here since both healthcare and beauty treatments are super cheap. Also, I really want to say that no one needs that many treatments to look good and feel good. Like, it's really fun to do these treatments, but you don't need them. On my side, what I valued the most was getting to learn about my skin from an actual doctor and also getting pampered for cheap. We love a good deal here. So if you go back to the first photo I showed you at the beginning of the video, it's obviously a process. I've done many different things to transform my skin. And this treatment was just a perfect add-on to everything I had done before. And for me, when I look at this photo, I feel the most important thing that has changed is how I feel inside. Like on this photo, I was still working very, very long hours in investment banking, feeling super stressed, picking at my skin all the time, and overall, not very happy. And now, you know, I make YouTube videos for a living, so it's pretty nice, and I have time to take care of my skin, and obviously I'm really happier, and you, you can see it on my face. That's all I have to say for now, and I'll see you in the next video.